Hi, I'm Mike. And I'm Holly. And today we have a great new sparkling wine for you. Yes, this is uh, Domaine Saint Remy, and this is a Cremanta Alsace. So what does Alsace, the Cremanta Alsace mean? So, you know, it's interesting. People think of all sparkling wines as champagne, but really the only wines that be can be called champagne are the ones from the actual Champagne region in France. Anything else made outside of that region in the same method is usually called a cremant, which means creaming, and right. like the it, it creaming bubbles, and it's a, a creaming style wine. Um, so the cremant d'Alsace ba basically means a sparkling wine from Alsace, yep. made just like champagne, yeah. exact same method. Yep, and this one is 100% um, Chardonnay, um, and they can use all kinds of different grapes. But for uh, for this particular one, um, the Earhart's make this, and it's it's all Chardonnay. Um, it does have points. It's 92 from Wine Enthusiasts, and we sell this for 16.49. I think it's important to mention people come in here all the time, and they're looking for champagne. They want a bottle of champagne for the holidays or something like that. They don't always realize that they're 30, 40, 50, 60 dollars a bottle. So this kind of sneaks in. It's made the same way. As, as champagne, sneaks in at a much lower price, and the quality is terrific. It's excellent. I know if, if you drink champagne and you like blanc de blanc, which basically means white from white, this is a, it, it could be a, 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 a blind tasting, mm -hmm. easily mistaken for a champagne. It's beautifully made, 100% Chardonnay. You can see that the bubbles are just, they're beautiful in this mm -hmm. glass. And you know, the holidays are coming, and we often think of, of champagne and sparkling wine as sort of a staple of the holidays, and this is just a great alternative to the expensive champagnes. Yeah, and, but, um, and this is um, this is non-vintage. There's some good information on the back of this bottle. It, it does say that it's a brute. Um, it has Demeter here, which is important because uh, in Alsace they're very um, they're very green, and mm. and this particular bottle is certified by Demeter, um, organic and biodynamic. So they're really doing it the right way. There's also some information about the scourgement date here. Since it's a non-vintage, um, this is important. And this particular lot or, or disgorgement uh, that we have is from March of 2016. So you know it's nice and fresh. Yes. With non-vintage, you don't always know. I mean, right. it's it, yeah. if it runs through the system quickly. I love that they do shape. that. It's a yeah. great, it's just, just for you to know when they put it in the bottle. I mean, it's been aging in Tourage for several years, right. but it's very fresh on the bottle. And mm -hmm. the nose of this is just, it's very bright yeah. and it's got that citrus mm -hmm. apple, but definitely that, that distinct kind of little bit of toastiness like you get yes. from champagne, yes. which is so good. Yeah, so as you mentioned, um, Cremant means creaming. So the bubbles, so for, for these wines, for me, the bubbles are softer, um, sometimes a little bit bigger, but they don't really look at, at this one, but yeah. a softer, easier drinking style. And you brought some different glasses in. I know you wanted yeah, to touch on that. And I absolutely. thought that was important because this is actually the first time I've used this type of glass. And you're absolutely right. It drinks much better than the, the flute because you can get your nose in here. It's amazing. You know, and, and champagne glasses have gone through quite a history um, from the original coupe that was the wide one that's still used sometimes in party houses. But you don't want a, a, a big shallow you know, dish because all of that, all of the, the effervescence um, escapes. So along came the the flute and the tulip, and these have been used for years, and they still are great glasses, but if you look at it, we, you really don't have room to get your nose in this glass to appreciate all the aromas. And how many times do you fill these glasses and they overflow because the bubbles come up and go over so quickly? Um, although they're still used a lot, uh, the Riedel Corporation came out with this new Champagne Veritas um, from the Veritas collection, and it's it's almost you could confuse it for a white wine glass, but it tapers in very quickly, so it holds the the aromas in there. And um, when you pour it, it's not apt to to bubble over. Um, it gives you a lot of room to really enjoy. I mean, the aroma of this is just yeah. amazing. Yeah, it's amazing and, what you miss in the flute. Yes, exactly. Um, and they actually, when they make these glasses, they carve a little dent in the bottom of the glass, and that's what, where you get all the bubbles. You actually, you need a flaw in the glass to exude those those beautiful bubbles and that mousse, um, the Cremona, and this does a great job of it. The more I use these glasses, the more I'm really impressed with this yeah, design. I'm sold. Yeah. I know these are these are kind of pricey. They are, but um, you know. But you could get lesser, ex less, less expensive versions of these. I'm sure. Exactly. And they're yeah. saying really, you know, the, the flute has been flunked <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> because nobody is using it. And honestly, if you didn't want to invest, you could use a nice all-purpose small white wine glass yes. and you're going to probably get more flavor than you would from a flute or a tulip. Yeah, maybe so. people would enjoy these wines better. It's a, I think it's a good investment. Yeah. And uh, 
Yeah, so yeah. Um, this is uh, nice for the holidays, mm -hmm. just when you have friends around, you know, people come over while they walk in the door and you just hand them a yeah, glass of this, yeah. it's going to really and work it's, out And it's well. at a good price where you can yeah. go through some of it. And exactly. um, this would go great with holiday foods. I mean, I'm thinking, you know, soft ripened cheeses like camemberts and breeze with like a, a you know, a caramelized topping. You could do um, Christmas brunch, sushi, sushi foods. Um, uh, fried foods, great with anything yeah. fried, uh, fried mushrooms, fried vegetables, fried calamari. And of course, you know, with the, with the holiday celebrations, um, New Year's Eve. Yeah. Great wine for New Year's Eve if you don't want to splurge on some hefty champagnes. Mm -hmm. It's a great alternative. I like it with Eggs Benedict. Oh yeah, really Eggs Benedict, good. perfect, like really for Christmas good. brunch. Yeah, exactly. Absolutely. Um, so the flavors on this wine, uh, yeah. the aromatics, like you said, get a little toastiness to it, mm -hmm. just a touch. Yeah. But I get quite a bit of, um, like uh, lemon, a little bit of citrus, mm -hmm. um, little white pear. It's just a, a lot going on. It's very fruity, but it finishes yeah. dry. I get a little nuttiness in the nose mm. too. I like that kind of a, almost a little bit of an almond note. It's very good. Super clean. Easy to drink, refreshing, yeah. but elegant. Yeah. This is really a beautiful, as close to champagne as you're going to get. And yeah, it's really a beautiful too. wine. $16.99? Uh, $16.49. $16.49. Yeah, so Even this, better. Yeah. <laughs> Domaine Saint Remy, this is their Prestige Brut, and it's $16.49. We hope you try it. It's yes. delicious. Happy holidays.